the next aspect we are going to discuss is uh, about the shapes of li liquid manisci. Earlier we discussed how water and uh, water ma meniscus of water and meniscus of copper look in a glass tube. Now let's see the reason for that. Now let's say uh, uh, a random randomly uh, in a general note let's say there is a uh, there is a glass tube like this and uh, in that glass tube okay uh, the liquid is supposed to be at this level liquid is supposed to be at this level so if it is water i'll draw it now a bit magnified all right i'll draw it with magnified if it is water water will look the water is supposed to be this level but water will look like this now for water let's use the blue color water will look like this water will look like this so there's a slight rise than the uh, required level there's a slight rise so that is how the water is going to look like then uh, the next is going to be a uh, mercury so when you compare mercury the meniscus of mercury it's going to look a little different than this i will use another another color for mercury so mercury was supposed to be at this level but mercury will look like this this is how mercury is going to look like so this is mercury i'll put the symbol of mercury hg and this is water so for water let's use h2o okay now the reason is see at this uh, we know that the reason for this is mainly surface tension. Now we know that surface tension is uh, greater for mercury. So in mercury, here the reason here, so I'll use the same color. In mercury, the adhesive forces are dominant than the cohesive forces. The reason is, I'm sorry, it should be the other way around. It should be the other way around. The cohesive forces are more dominant than the adhesive force because mercury has a higher surface tension so interaction between mercury and mercury particles will be more so mercury will not wet the glass as much as water does and on the other hand in water the adhesive forces will be more dominant than the cohesive forces water will interact more with the glass so you can see water is wetting the glass more but mercury is wetting the glass less this is that's the reason for uh, the shapes of the liquid manuscript all right, uh, that's how it's look, it looks like. But uh, this is uh, the normal case. The upper manisci will look like this, but the bottom part. Sometimes there are situations where we get a manisci at the bottom. For that, the, we don't apply this to the top part. All right, fine. Now, uh, next, let's move on to another important concept. Now, we have already discussed. Uh, we we said that there are six things, six uh, aspects. Um, five are written here, and one I forgot about capillary rise. We have a one. We discussed the third, uh, fourth, and fifth one. Uh, the the reason why uh, different liquids wet uh, surface in different ways, and the reason for the meniscus. And uh, we will be discussing about the the other things in the upcoming uh, lessons. This this is these two belong to a similar lesson, same lesson. And then there is something called capillary rise. That's a six point. Uh, we'll discuss about those later. Right. So the next uh, concept, the topic we are going to discuss is. Uh, called uh, contact angle. It's called the contact angle. A very very important concept. It's a very important title, uh, contact angle. But understanding contact angle is not very hard at all. But when it comes to contact angle, we need to have uh, uh, the interaction between a solid and a liquid, just like this. You can see the a solid and liquid have interacted, glass and water. Here also a solid and a liquid have interacted. That is, uh, glass and mercury. All right. Now, I, let me start with the basic. Uh, let me start with the initial diagram we discussed. Look at this diagram. We discussed. We started our discussion here. So, let me give you a quick explanation about contact angle. Now, we'll be using the same color for the uh, solid surface. So, I'll use this color. Uh, let's say there is a solid. There is a surface like this. Solid surface. Um, this surface can be you know, wood. Right. It can even be glass. Can even be glass or glass, right? So when you pour a little bit of water on the wood, you know water is going to look like this. So now two surfaces. 
the liquid surface, the solid surface. And if you pour mercury, as we know before we discussed about this, mercury is going to look like this. It's going to look like this, mercury. All right, fine. So I'm not going to highlight it much because I, I need the inner space to be explained. Okay, fine. Now, what does contact angle mean? Now, the contact angle is the angle between the tangents of uh, angle between the tangents of solid surface and the liquid surface inside the liquid. Okay, I know that was a bit confusing. I'll repeat. Angle between the tangent of the solid uh, surface and the uh, liquid surface inside the liquid. Now, let's consider this. Let me quickly mark that. If you take this, this uh, uh, the purple color line is going to be the uh, solid surface, the tangent. And at this point, if I draw a tangent to the liquid surface, and it's going to look like this. This is going to be the tangent. All right, fine. And here, if you consider the solid surface is very uh, precise and distinct, the purple color line. And uh, at uh, at different points, the liquid surface differs. So I'll take this point. At that point, if I plot a uh, tangent, then the tangent is going to look like this. Correct? Fine. Now, when you come consider this point, this is the liquid. This is the air. So there, I can draw two angles. One angle is this. One angle is this. Contact angle is the angle inside the liquid. So you can draw like this. Draw like this. And we say theta. Let's use the letter theta. Normally, they use the letter theta for contact angle. Right? This is right. And then here, I have an angle here. I have an angle here. But this time, you have to use choose the obtuse angle because the angle is inside the liquid. So this is going to be the theta. Right. So who is the blue color liquid? The blue color liquid, as we've been using continuously, it's water. And uh, the green color liquid is going to be mercury. Now. Contact angle for water is less than 90 and contact angle for mercury is greater than 90 because it is an obtuse angle, this is an acute angle. So liquids which wet a surface more, they have a smaller contact angle and liquids which do not wet the surface much have an obtuse contact angle. And uh, and the definition for contact angle will be the angle between solid surface and uh, the angle between the tangents of solid surface and the liquid surface inside the liquid. That's very important. The last part is important. You mark theta like that. And we, you can analyze the contact angle not only uh, for situations like this, for different types of uh, manisci. You know, there are four types of uh, manisci. manisci, manisci we will come across four types of menisci. Uh, so what are those four? Let's uh, say I'm going to use the same uh, color for the solid surface. Let's say this is a solid surface. So I need to draw four. Yeah, I'll draw four. Mm. Right, let's start it here. Perhaps let's start it here. So one, this is one. Right, this is the other one. This is the other one, and this is the final one. So we are going, considering four different capillary tubes inside which uh, there are liquids with different contact angles. Okay, right. So for contact angle, we can consider, like I said earlier, we can consider four cases. The first case is when contact angle is zero. All right, and then when the contact angle is between 0 and 90, so that's going to be acute angle, yeah, acute angle. And then contact angle can be equal to 90, and the last one, contact angle can be an obtuse angle. That means contact angle is going to be between 90 and 180, that is an obtuse angle. All right, so let's uh, consider how the sh shapes of the liquid is going to look like. Now, when contact angle is 0, contact angle is 0, that means the angle between the tangent of liquid surface and the solid surface should be 0. That means the tangent of solid surface and the liquid surface should be at the same line, should be at the same line, should be in the same line actually, should be in the same line, unlike this. So, when your contact angle is 0, the meniscus is going to look like this. It's going to look like this. See if you can understand. It's going to look like this. A perfect half circle. A perfect half circle where at this point, 
the at this point the start at the starting point that is where the contact is yeah at the starting point uh, the line of the liquid layer surface and the solid surface should be parallel or should be in contact with each other or should be in one line actually to be precise should be in one line see so this is a uh, half uh, this is not a if you consider it in 3d it is going to be a hemisphere yeah so it should be in uh, hemisphere hemispherical shape exact hemispherical shape so if you consider the radii if this distance is r and if this distance is uh, sorry i'll take this as um capital r okay capital r and if this distance is simple r then i can say simple r is equal to capital r i hope you can understand because it's flat here it's flat here right fine when your contact angle is uh, acute angle when it is less than 90 then your meniscus is going to look like this am i correct because it should look like this water so that's how it's going to look like so this is going to be a a part of a sphere a bottom part of a sphere so if you mark the contact angle now here you can't you, you don't have to mark the contact angle but here you have you can mark the contact angle because you can draw at this point at this point of contact you can draw the tangent so if here if you draw the tangent at the point of contact the tangent in uh, for the liquid layer which we've been drawing in black color broken lines will be along this but here if you draw the contact line it's going to be like this and where do we mark the contact angle inside the liquid this is the liquid so this is going to be a contact angle theta less than 90 all right because this is the liquid this is air fine and uh, when the contact angle is 90 that means the surfaces must be perpendicular to each other so we have the purple line is the solid surface so the liquid surface should be perpendicular that means it will be absolutely flat like this horizontal that's when contact angle is 90 so you might get carried away you have to be careful this is not zero contact angle is not zero there because see there is a clear difference between the uh, tangents of the solid and liquid surfaces that is they are, they are perpendicular so this is going to be our theta 90 okay so any guesses for the last one you have the answer and it's right here correct so if your contact angle is an obtuse angle the liquid meniscus will look like this okay it will be bent that way all right now here at the contact point the solid uh, solid tangent of the solid surface is the purple line and we can draw a, uh, a tangent for the separate tangent for the liquid surface and it's going to be like this and the angle between this line and the purple line inside the liquid so this is where you mark the angle okay so this is how you can differentiate uh, meniscus for different uh, what do you call that uh, for different um, uh, liquids all different contact angles and one more thing one more thing uh, now if you take this particular man sky uh, this is a part of a large circle so it might have a you know center somewhere here so if you take that that is going to be the radius capital r that is the radius of the meniscus and the simple r i am marking is the radius of the tube so here it's obvious that the radius of the meniscus is larger than the radius of the uh, tube and here it is flat that means it is a very very large circle it's a it's a small part of a very large circle that means the radius of this meniscus is very large if not you can say it's infinitely large infinity you can see here this value is equal to capital simple r capital r here capital r is above simple r and here capital r must be very very large we call it infinity if you have a flat line like this that is a part of a very large circle that means a very large radius so these are a few things uh, you can uh, relate uh, between uh, contact angle and uh, the radius of meniscus all right fine so if you want to plot a graph you want to plot a graph then how it's going to be the graph for uh, radius of the meniscus and contact angle so you plot the graph uh, r and theta let's focus only up to here this uh, the opposite side so let's forget about that um you don't have to forget about that actually but uh, here here also it is similar to this yeah here also it's similar to this but uh, the center will be down here center will be down so this this capital r and here also capital r is going to be fixed like that simple r so if you if you when your theta is zero and then you have theta is uh, 90 
is 90 and greater than 90 greater than 90 so when your theta is theta is 90 you see your capital r is infinity and when your theta is 0 your capital r is equal to simple r so your graph will start somewhere here and your graph will go up like this infinity this is how you mark infinity and then again the graph will reduce like this and go to the same this is how the shape of this graph going to look like this is the radius of the meniscus liquid meniscus against contact angle theta so in contact angle radius changes contact angle will also uh, with when the contact angle changes the radius will also change like this so i hope you got a better understand uh, you have a certain amount of understanding about uh, how meniscus are formed i explain you how meniscus are formed uh, in uh, different liquids and then we discuss a very important point contact angle what is contact angle the angle between the tangents of solid and liquid surfaces inside the 